Jake Irvin in his seventh big league start facing a well-balanced ball club. Yeah, coming off an outing, five innings, eight hits, four earned runs, three strikeouts, a walk, and a homer. And what was the biggest issue? Falling behind and staying behind. And there's the walk. Jake's 18th walk in just under 28 innings now. And that'll get it down to the DH, Emmanuel Rivera. Adding 337. What a start he's had to the year after not making the club coming out of a spring training. And there's another knock with the runners in scoring position. It's in the gap in right center. Cattell coming around third. Walker into third. And Emmanuel Rivera gives the Diamondbacks the early lead. You got to ride that wave when he's going good. You got to keep him out there. Nice piece of hitting right there by Rivera. He stayed on that outside fastball there and just shot it to right field. Nice piece of hitting. And he hits it right at Stone Garrett. And it'll end the top of the first. Two hits around the walk. Left-hander Tommy Henry, who has won his last two starts, beating the Phillies and the Rockies. Yeah, he was really good his last outing. He threw seven innings, a couple hits, seven strikeouts. That probably was his best start of his career. He's trying to build on that here this evening. 3 2. Well, back to back walks for Henry, and now they're loaded for Stone Garrett. And that night in Arizona, Franny Garrett was batting fifth, same pitcher. Base hit, stolen base, second time up. That ball is lifted to left. It's got Get some up. distance. Yeah. See you later. Stone Garrett, national second grand slam of the year. His first ever. And it's four to one just like that and against his old teammates. How about that? One of his best friends is Tommy Henry. You think they're going to be talking quite a bit now? One two change up down in the zone. Nice job by Stone. That's a pitch that gets so many ground balls and he lifts it out of here. Nice job. And Tommy gets the fastball by him gets the strikeout but it's a 36 pitch first inning and a four to one Nationals lead Boy, Henry can really use a quick inning here a 36 pitch first and Tommy Henry amping up that fastball strikeout number two nice job right there comeback inning and that fastball has been really good for him up and away top of the third here's Corbin Carroll that's in there working the inside part of the plate Irvin's first strikeout nice comeback fastball right there from Jake Irvin. Starts it in off the plate to Corbin Carroll. Looks like it's going to be a ball, and it runs back over the inner third of the plate. And here's Gabby Moreno. Just got to chip away at this. You know the Nationals, they're going to give up some base runners. Now the pitch grounded right side into right field, a base hit. Rojas giving the wave around third. Here comes the throw to the plate by Thomas. It's going to be cut off, and the throw to second not in time. Diamondbacks have cut the lead in half. Well, this is a nice job right here. This is why we like this ball club, the aggressiveness that they take. There you see him using the opposite side of the field. Rojas coming around third. Knows there's going to be a play at the plate. Four to two now. Well, they could not come up with a two-out RBI hit when they had a chance in the second. We'll see if Pavin can come through here in the fourth. He's 0 for 2. Hit a deep fly ball to very deep center field his last time up. Once more to center, here comes Alex Cole. He won't get there. Moreno's coming home, and it's 4-3. to three. There's your two-out RBI for Pavin Smith. Well, he hit it about 400 feet last time out there and didn't get anything. That one was a little dunk shy for an RBI. Boy, his first at-bat made that outfielder get a little bit deeper. You push him back, and then you get one of those to drop in. And I think Jake Irvin's done. Looks like it's going to be 4-plus. So four free base runners and then another allowed to advance an extra 90 feet. And Erasmo Ramirez is going to get the call here after one batter in the fifth inning. And now they're loaded with no outs. Two hit batters, a balk, and a base on balls ahead of Josh Rohan. Josh Singleton scored his last time up. Dropped down a bunt hit that forced a throwing error. Rojas lifts this toward the left field corner along the line for Stone Garrett. Carroll is at third. Here comes Corbin. The throw is cut off and we're tied. It's the RBI for Josh Rojas and it's 4-4. So they were up one to nothing. They trailed it four to one. Now we're all even at four. And the batter is Gabriel Moreno who is grounded out in single. Gabby base hit. It's into right field. Walker got a late break. They're going to send him anyway. The throw is into second and the Diamondbacks have the lead. Gabriel Moreno makes it five to four. He's two for three. Boy another great piece of hitting. that ball was on the outer half. They trailed it four one. They lead it five four. Jake McCarthy. Jake jumps on the first one and drives it to right field. Lane Thomas near the wall and he's got it. Rivera will score and it's six to four Diamondbacks. Top of the order in Lane Thomas against Tommy Henry. Thomas is single to left center, scored a run of the first inning, struck out swinging in the second. Thomas, high drive, Good. deep left. See you way later. Over.
over the bullpen, halfway up the bleachers. And Lane's first over in June is a mighty blast to get the Nats a little closer. 428 feet. That ball was absolutely crushed. If you were bored in your seat, you woke up because this was loud. 3 2. They're loaded. Second walk in the inning issued by Chad Cool and Josh Rojas steps up. Well, the Diamondbacks a chance to really break it open here. Bases full one down. Josh singled and scored in the fourth. Throw it a run with a sack fly in the fifth. Big spot for Josh right here. Rolls it throw into right field. Marte is home. Here comes Corbin Carroll. Rivera's at third. That's a two run single for Josh Rojas. And an 8 5 Diamondbacks lead. Gonzo Rojas, who really scuffled through much of May, is working his way back. Yes, he is. Did a nice job, fouled off some tough pitches, and then he got that breaking ball, able to drive in a couple runs. Haven Smith, an RBI single in the fourth with two outs. Perdomo holding. Haven hits another ball to center. He's been out there all night. Call to the wall, and that ball is gone. Haven Smith has hit the ball to center field most of the night. He finally had the distance on that one, and it just barely cleared that fence out there. Make it 10 to 5 Diamondbacks. The sixth of the year for Pavin. Boy, he's hit the ball for some distance today and finally gets one over the center fielder's head. He hit a deep fly out there in the second, hit a dunk shot to center for an RBI in the fourth, flied out to center in the fifth. And that one's gone over the head of the center fielder here in the seventh. It's the right-hander Kevin Ginkle who's made 23 appearances this year. Kevin worked a pair of scoreless one, two, three, ninth innings against both Colorado and Atlanta on the last homestand. Marte for one. Perdomo turns it. And the Diamondbacks get the 10 to 5 win in the opener here at Nats Park. And they get back to 11 games over 500. Boy, just a great start to this road trip. He got contributions from everybody. Did a lot of the little things.